Ahoy, mates! I be Captain Potamus Redbeard. Welcome aboard, me ship of love. Today be a glorious day, as I finally get to be shot of that belligerent bilge weevil Nancy Gum. Yar! Partners of Redbeard, you snivelling sea cucumber, I flail you roar and grind your bones! Yeah, I'll try, ye manatee! <laughs> oh, crikey, we'll be here all day! Ah, ye just stick introducing these here, Wilms Master Funky Monkey. Aye, shipmates, today we comes the latest in the Pirates of the Caribbean series on Stranger Tides! <laughs> Released in 2011, On Stranger Tides is the first of the series set after the demise of Davy Jones. This time, the villain is all too human. Another legendary pirate, Blackbeard, whose daughter is somewhat sweet on Jack, and who looks to find the Fountain of Youth. But Barbosa and the English Crown also want the fountain. It's another swashbuckling, double-dealing pirate adventure. So we are further ado, we gives ye Pirates of Caribbean on Stranger Tides. We begins our tale in that bastion of respectable piracy, London. Joshua e. Gibbs be at the four of the courts. I told you, the name's Gibbs, Joshua e. Gibbs. But summit be off about this here, Judge. I hereby commute your sentence. Jack makes good on his scheming. I've paid off the driver. Only to be brought afore the king himself. The king be making a deal for our Jack to see you now. The Spanish have located the Fountain of Youth. But under another familiar face. Jack be having none of it though, and makes his escape. The fates be smiling on Captain Sparrow as he finds his way to the Captain's Daughter Inn. Hello, Jackie. And his old father be having some wise words for him. Find out every detail before you set sail. Oh, set sail. Some unscrupulous character been impossed in a cat sparrow. But our captain be thinking to find this here imposter and put paid. I remember telling ye dressed up, Zoe, and sailed off me ship. Took only three months to catch up, it did. Oh, you might be mad for it, though. Marooned in France. Lucky thing, too, where you made a killing taking cheese across the channel. Tis a better fate than Captain Sparrow. Who be finding himself aboard the Queen Anne's Revenge. Jack plans a mutiny. I signed up to sail under Jack Sparrow, not some pretend. Which goes well enough. Until we lays eyes on him himself. Blackbeard. Gentlemen. Angelica, his daughter, advises mercy. But there must be a price to pay for mutiny. Jack gains a private audience with Blackbeard, but his greatest asset turns out to be his greatest failing. She's not your daughter. If I do not make it to the fountain in time, neither will you. A candlelit seduction gives us the truth of the profound ritual. And in return, the promise of Jack's heart's desire. Ah, it is true. He loves that ship more than any woman. Oh, it broke his heart when it limped to shore and fell away in 1906. So we set upon White Cat Bay, Warby Mermaids. I, pretty they may be. Enough to catch the eye of the last once in a while. But they'd be vicious with it. Sparrow be fool enough to put an end to this debacle. But not 
all mermaids be so vicious in their ways. Of course, no good deed be going unpunished, and this here mermaid be captured for the ritual. Jack be elected to continue on. But he might be needing a might bit of coaxing. If I jump, will I survive? Yes. Iron the fall that kills ye. Tis the land. Let the earth ye falls in water, Moline. Oh, he loves me, them fresh water waterfalls. <laughs> and the two eternal rivals meet once more. Aboard the wreck of Ponce de Leon's ship. Rocks. The Spanish. They're ahead of us, mate. Alloyed by circumstance, the captains venture forth. Now what? Hey, makes it look easy. Tis that easy. I remember this one time where I escaped the king's men with the power of the Almighty. And if you will be cutting shipmates. Let alone the captain speak frank and clear. Blackbeard be getting the chalices. I did. So then we comes at last to the fountain. As does Barbosa. And declare you to be my prisoner. There be a mighty battle. Lasts a few minutes and accomplishes fair naught. Then the Catholics banish be spoiling the fun. Blackbeard be run through. Young Angelica be poisoned and Barbosa be done with them all. Jack be doing a fine thing in saving one of these damn souls. And we finish our tale with Jack marooning that Spaniard harpy and looking to free his beloved Black Pearl. So that were pirates the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. I know he'd be proud to carry this cargo, and all a series to boot, a poor me ship o' love. This isn't the preceding movies. The Caribbean is a smaller place now, and larger forces are at work. Jack Sparrow holds firm though, as the larger than life, think on his feet, Lord of Pirates. And while this story is much more straightforward, it is no less colourful the characters being joyous for having the chance to be fleshed out some more. The whole series, to date I means, be a romantic recollection of a time when the only way you could be master your own fate were to go to sea and become a pirate. Oi, they pillaged, they plundered, they killed in cold blood, that they were free. Free of the king, free of no cities, Free of the need to keep the laws that saw the few prosper and the many trod down. And as then, so now. The time be right for a new wave of piracy. Perhaps not as violent and uncouth as before, but no less free of the few and their ways. So drink up, Mitties, to the pirate's life for a day. And thank you, Captain, for breaking bread with me on these movies. Ye be most welcome, ye saucy sausage. And I shall see ye four year hence for the rumoured next. If not a four on the high seas, that be. And thank ye, shipmates, for sailing with us. I wish ye fair winds, and leave ye in the care of Master Funky Monkey. Now collect your belongings, and be on your way. As you